President Museven's journey to Mandela National Stadium started at State House in Tewe. It was in the company of his wife and a number of cabinet ministers. The president made a number of brief stops on Ginger Road, which had been freed of all traffic to allow presidential candidates passing to Nambola Stadium. The Electoral Commission started the nomination process at 10 a.m. as scheduled. With the process complete, about half an hour later, President Chair Museven left Nambole, making a couple of stopovers with motorcycles and supporters hot on his heels. Supporters lined the sides of the road, signing, drumming and waving at his convoy as he made way from the stadium. The president then returned to State House and emerged after an hour to go to Kololo Independence Grounds where his supporters waited for him. A helicopter donated to him by NRM's first chairman for Eastern Uganda, Captain Mike Mukula, hovered above. The crowd chanted their support as they welcomed the NRM presidential candidate, members of his family and some top officials of the party. <laughs> Kololo grounds was a splash of yellow t-shirts, capes and umbrellas. Artists were up on stage, already entertaining this existing crowd. <laughs> When he was invited to the podium to speak, the president promised to make health a priority in his next term of office. He also promised to make a good on his fulfilled pledges. Unless you saw certain obstacles, and unless you also brought about security. The downpour did not stop the president from addressing his supporters. He also went ahead to launch a song composed for his campaigns by a number of artists. <laughs> With the launch of the song over, President Show M7 then proceeded to NRN's new Isuzu bus, which is the symbol for the NRM party. <laughs> Officially for the NR, but they have already started their campaign. And today we saw some of the highlights that are in the manifesto. But there was a little bit of a rain that disrupted the function, but they still continued. To them, the rain was a blessing in disguise, and they're hoping that 2016 will be a landslide victory for them. Mauricio Chol, NTV, here in Kololo.